Hi guys, Lexi Alice here with my second video of the day. Now I finished talking about Givenchy's Play Intense, which I have in this wrist. Very nice Gourmand, very nice scent, very romantic scent. So, um, now I've finished talking about that, I've got another scent I want to discuss. This is from the Chewity House, this is Chewity 1881 Black. Now this is a flanker to the original Chewity 1881. Uh, which I've also reviewed, which is an excellent scent. Now, um, there are a few flankers which a lot of people don't talk about. In fact, the Chewity House in general doesn't get a lot of talk. I think it's a damn good house. In fact, I think it deserves to be out there with Prada and uh, Chanel and stuff like that as well because they do make some serious good fragrances and a lot of people put them down because they're found in bargain bins and stuff they're not taken too seriously. But, um, one of my first scents of Chewity, one Chewity image. So I've also got a video on that. But this one, um, was really good. This was quite cheap. I got this for like 20 quid. This came out in 2006. So there's this one as a flanker. There's this, there's Amber, and I believe there's Chewity 1881 Intense, I think it is, as well. So I've been trying to find those two, but I haven't had any luck. I managed to get my hands on this one. And um, yeah, I think this is a damn nice scent, actually. So let's talk about the bottle. Now, this is a classic Chewity bottle here. The only difference is I've got rid of If you look at the Chewity bottle, um, gorgeous bottle, but it has a sort of... Um, Frosting here, like frosted out some of the glass, that's gone here, the entire bottle's shiny. But for this particular scent, I think that has to be that way, and I'll tell you why in a minute. As you can see, it's a darker tone, same bottle, darker lid, information there, you've got Chiruti 1881 on the side there. And um, if you can see, yep. So let's talk about the sprayer. Now, this is a damn good sprayer, like I said, the Chiruti's are oceans, most of the sprayers, if you look here. Yeah. I think Chiruti are like second to Creed as far as heavy spears go. <laughs> so here we go. Now, what do I get from this? Let's see. Damn, this is very, very strong. Right off the bat, kind of alcoholic a wee bit at the start. This is where I saw, I read a few reviews, people got a bit offended why it was sort of synthetic at the start. I do get what you're talking about, the synthetic part here. I kind of like it, but it's not too bad, but I do get what people talk about, it's a bit thin synthetic. So this smells very dark, very um, wet, like, um, this is like, if you like Narcisa Rodriguez for him, I think you'll like this if you get me. And the bottle matches the fragrance perfectly, it's very sort of gloomy, whereas the original Chewity is very glorious, you could imagine smoking a cigar and a soup wearing it. This one's very sort of gloomy, like imagine it's a sort of wet day. Or oh, it's just finished raising, you went, pardon me, you went Italy and it's just finished raining. And you're in it uh, outside, sitting outside in a cafe, it's a bit damp, and it's that hot way but it's finished raining. And you're eating like a cherry pie and smoking a cigar. That's what this is like, me I guess sort of cherries almost. At least that's what I think it is, it's sort of fruity, maybe florally but cherries in there. Sort of florally fruity cherries if that makes sense. But it's kind of smoky at the same time. It's kind of gloomy, but it's masculine, smoky, very sort of florally, but florally fruity cherries, but smoky, you know, tobacco -y. Like I said about the cherry pine cigar, that's what it's like, but it's gloomy. Masculine, gloomy, it's very, very nice, actually. This particular one, I quite like it. The dry down is better because you'll, the alcoholic part disappears and you're just left with this really nice scent. So. It's just sort of fresh. It's fresh as well. Like I said with Narcisse Rodriguez, a lot of people get that sort of cucumber thing. But this has that sort of same fresh vibe. Not a cucumber, but just like fruit salad, like aqua Fahrenheit almost. You can just imagine being there. The smokiness is starting to come in. Pretty good, I have to say. Um, not as good as the original by far, but um, not a bad attempt. So let's talk about lasting power. This is one of these ones, again, which lots of people talk about is Beast Mode. Beast Mode Projection. Longevity is off the charts. Projection is Beast Mode, and there'll be one person that says they don't get one. This one's not as harsh as your once you play in tens. It isn't like 100 people get Beast Mode, 100 people don't. This one's more like 50 people get Beast Mode, and 10, 15 people don't, if you get me. So, this is one of these weird ones. I'll spray it on, and I'll think it's gone, and I'll just I'll just get a whiff of it. And I'll, so, most of the time, that really happens with this, but most of the time, someone else comments on it. I think it's gone, and someone will be like, oh, you smell nice. Or, oh, I'll sniff that. Uh, most of my mother, actually. <laughs> when I come home, she's always like, oh, what's that you're wearing? So, it just proves it lasts when I come home from college. Just, she can still smell it. Uh, last time I bought that's what happened there, anyway. So, quite a nice scent. It's starting to dry down now. The alcohol starts about to go away. But that's what I get from that sort of cherry vibe. It's hard to describe. I know I'm not the best at describing things, but this one, I do like it. I think it's kind of classy. It does smell Italian, and it's not as good as the original, but damn good attempt. I mean, for the price, um, for like 20 quid for the 100 mils, you can't complain, really. Really, really nice. So, I would say um, projection longevity. With me, I get about, what, 8 hours longevity. 
and all the way projection, decent projection actually. Um, from what I can get, I mean, it's going strong now by my hand, so I think decent projection because it might uh, offend, so the alcohol thing at the start. If you wear this, I would give this a couple of minutes, 10, 20 minutes, maybe even half an hour before walking out the door, if you're going to get a train or something, before you go out in public, just to get rid of the alcoholism, that sort of blast it can put a bit, few people off. So where to wear this? Um, I would say age group wise, this one's not really, you could wear it in high school again like you want to, but I wouldn't, this one's a bit more mature, it's charity we're talking about here, you know, not Adidas or One Million. So um, I would sort of wear this one in my 18 and up. This is a sort of 18 and up category. Yeah. Uh, so um, I would say to wear this, I think this is quite good casually. And um, for what I think this is good as well, because again, if we go easy in the spear, I would say normal wearing of this, I would say four sprays, maybe five tops, normal wearing. But I would say for work, two to three sprays, maybe three tops, and for a date, the same, two to three. And um, for a date, again, like I said, wait, let it dry down a bit. But it has that sort of nice, gloomy, it's kind of seductive and sexy, if you get me. It's quite classy, seductive, it's not cheap. It doesn't smell cheap at all. It's, it's by a lot of people, if they hate it, a lot of people judge this compared to the original Truity. The original Truity is a damn masterpiece. It's the best fragrance. Oh, I, Le Lessons de Truity is the best fragrance. Truity 81 is the second best fragrance, and uh, I would say this one's the third best. Maybe Truity C. I haven't got my hands on that one yet, so I'll need to see. Need to see, eh? Yeah, Truity C. No, mate. <laughs> Bad joke, okay? Couldn't help it. <laughs> but yeah, um, I think for a date, this is pretty good. Especially if it's a rainy day, this is perfect, <laughs> I'll tell you that. Um, for a restaurant, you can dress this one up, this is quite nice, it's quite classy, you can dress this one up, no problem. For work, I would say less sprays, less is more with this one. I don't want to offend people with that alcohol thing, so yeah, stick with the two to three, you'll be fine. And for casual wearing, yes, it's fine for that. As many sprays as you want, if you're wandering about the house yourself, just chilling out, like I often wear this, and you want you around the house, I really like them. Uh, less on situations than I want to wear around the house. I quite like that. I've got a video on that as well, along with Image and 1881, if you want to check them out. So this is my fourth Tuity scent I've reviewed. Really, really nice um, scent. Now do check it out. It doesn't get a lot of talk, but it really deserves it. I mean, it's starting to dry down now, and it's gorgeous. I really like it. So I do think you should give us a check out. Don't judge it by the original. I mean, it's like, if Mercedes bought out a car that's not as good as a Mercedes Benz, but it's a good car. People will be looking at Mercedes Benz and going, that's a really good car, that one's crap. It's not crap, it's just not as good as a Mercedes Benz. So this is not as good as 1881, but it's still good. So 1881 is like a 9 out of 10, this is like a 7 or an 8. It's not as good, but it's still good, you know what I mean? So do give it a check out, especially for the price. Um, it's cheap and really good. So yeah, uh, Tuity 1881 Black Guys in the House of New Tuity. Really nice scent, um, cheapy but really good one. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you found it helpful, especially if you're one of the people that has been looking into getting this one, I know it doesn't get a lot of talk, so I, you know me, I like to change things like quorum and stuff, I don't get a lot of talks, so I like to do videos on them. Hell, I've done a video on Old Spice, that says it all. But uh, So yeah, uh, any questions you have about this, remember, leave them in the comments or send me a personal message, I'll be happy to answer. Um, all my videos on my blog, so all my videos in the playlist, <laughs> you can click on my channel, click playlist, things like they also be from the very earliest to the latest one, easy for you to find, there will be a link to my blog <laughs> on the description and there will also be a link, so uh, the name of the song I used in the intro as well, I'm not with it today am I, <laughs> but yeah, um, I hope you find this one useful. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed. You make doing these videos worthwhile. You're the guys I do them for, along with the rest of all to watch the land of fragrances. So yeah, it's a pleasure. Um, so yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.